Okay, a short video about the battery that's located on the back of my bike. Uh, it is a 72 volt, 40 amp hour battery. I'm just going to open up the uh, the bag and uh, take a look inside. Uh, what I have in here is a battery box. Uh, it's made of steel. Uh, the batteries inside are aligned both in the series and in parallel. Uh, to produce the 72 volts. Uh, down here beside the battery is a uh, DC-DC converter which can take the 72 volts from the battery and convert it into 12 volts to supply accessory power for the headlights and for the uh, the tail light etc. Uh, on the top of the battery bag here what I've installed is a AC to AC inverter uh, with a standard 120 volt uh, outlet socket that you can plug in a uh, cell phone charger or a laptop etc. Uh, also inside the flap is the Anderson connector uh, that charges the battery. Uh, the charger which I have located over here just behind the bike uh, also has an Anderson connector that I can plug into the battery. It can only go in in one direction. Uh, when it's plugged in like that, uh, the charger itself I have plugged into the wall. Uh, I bought a timer that I have set for a uh, three hour charge time. I just simply press this button here and what it does is it turns on the charger. The charger supplies uh, 87 volts and up to 15 amps. Uh, I can toggle back and forth to tell me how many amps are being supplied. Uh, the battery is practically charged right now. So what the lithium ion phosphate charger does is it will uh, accelerate upwards towards the 87 volt uh, maximum. Once it's reached that, what it'll do is it'll slowly uh, begin the process of counting down from 15 amps. It'll uh, slowly trickle down to zero amps at which point uh, the battery is completely charged. So I can leave it in this state, uh, leave it charging, uh, and I don't have to worry about shutting off the charger, even though the charger itself can uh, shut off by itself. Um, I do have the backup here on the wall, which is, like I said, it's a countdown um, from four hours to zero. So that way, at the end of the charge, uh, all power is off and the bike is completely safe. Okay, there you have it.